Hey y'all, how are you doing? I used to be the vice president of Armenian Club, but it led to me losing my best friend. It all started when I conceived of this bright idea to start our own academic clubs for high school. Bache was my best friend of five years. I knew him since junior high. And I actually pitched this idea to him. And I got this idea because I'd heard from numerous sources that college admissions not only looked at your GPA, but they also looked at your extracurricular activities and leadership qualities. So I actually pitched this to my best friend and he thought that it made sense. So we would start our own clubs and we would become presidents and vice presidents of our own respective clubs to plump up our college applications. You had to get the approval of the student body council to make your club official. So we both went up in front of the student body council and proposed our clubs. The club that I came up with was Health and Fitness Club because I was interested in health and fitness. I used to watch a lot of pro wrestling and I always wanted to be buff like pro wrestlers. So I proposed this idea and the student body council unanimously rejected it. My friend, best friend Vache on the other hand, he proposed something else, he proposed Armenian club and they all voted yes and they congratulated him on his new ethnic club. This was also kind of ironic that Vache was pitching Armenian club because Vache, he was Armenian of course, but he wasn't very proud of being Armenian himself and he didn't want to be associated with his heritage because I think he has some insecurities about it. But here he was proposing Armenian club and he made me vice president. He was the president. We didn't know how many people show up on the first day because we didn't know how many people were interested in an Armenian club. I personally am not interested in an ethnic club so I would have never shown up to any kind of ethnic club, so I didn't think there would be a big turnout. So we're waiting at the meeting place, and about 50 people showed up to the first club meeting. And the very first thing that they inquired about was why the vice president was an Asian guy. And I tried to reason with them. I justified my position by appealing to the members and telling them that it has nothing to do with the color of my skin or the shape of my eyes, but my mutual interest and appreciation for Armenian history and spreading cultural awareness. But they were looking back at me with blank stares like I just told them that I witnessed Bigfoot. They weren't buying it. They demanded a re-election. And the person who particularly was spearheading this motive was a guy named Arthur. Arthur was a student that I had met a year or two ago in the library through a mutual friend before the inception of the club. And he looked like a very friendly guy, appearance wise. But then when I went to shake his hand, he declined. He said that he was not going to shake hands with a commie. And this was his description of me. And I kept seeing him all the time at the library afterward and my mutual friend even vouched for me. And I thought that he would warm up to me or I would warm up to him. 
at some point, but to no avail. And I just thought he was a weird, paranoid guy. And I didn't really think much of it. But he always called me a communist spy. And I actually didn't know he was even Armenian. But he showed up to Armenian club. And I didn't know he was Armenian until he showed up to the Armenian club. And he was protesting the fact that I was even at the club. So halfway through the year, I got booted out of the club. And so this was kind of the first domino to fall in my friendship with Vache. And the other thing was, Vache now had 50 Armenian friends. And he now only wanted to hang out with people who shared his same skin color. Vache was no longer very interested in preserving our relationship. He began to exhibit annoyance and irritation at my corny jokes, which he used to laugh at. And we had a common interest in video games and pro wrestling, but he no longer wanted to discuss video games or pro wrestling anymore. He just wanted to talk about Armenian history with other Armenians. And the last straw that broke the camel's back, if I was a camel, was that we were taking math class together during that time. We were both taking trigonometry. And I was struggling in that class, to be honest. We had homework every day. And I'd always have four or five problems that I couldn't solve on my own. So I would contact Vache. I'd phone him up because Vache was very gifted at math. And he actually went off to become an engineer. But he was very good at math. And so I would call him up and ask him what he got for a particular problem. And how he solved it. And Vache started getting very annoyed by my calls. He would only help me with one, two problems at the very most. And then he would tell me that he has to go to sleep now. Which made me feel crummy because I was the one who had to take the bus every morning to school. And I was the very first stop of the bus route, which meant that I had to wake up two hours before everyone else. But Wache wanted to go to sleep before me. And I was so used to best friends going to the ends of the earth to save each other. This is how movies depicted what best friends were willing to do for each other. And yet Vache was not even willing to help me out with measly homework. So it made me feel downtrodden. If anything, I was ashamed. And I felt like I was being a burden to him. Because he was so annoyed that I was bothering him. And he was also agitated that I couldn't keep up with him in math class. And I hated math. In fact, I hated every single class other than probably cooking. Eventually, we were no longer best friends and I went off to chess club because it was very evident to me that he wasn't interested in maintaining our friendship. And it was never the same after that. We would see each other in the halls, we would pass each other by, and we would greet each other, but we weren't best friends anymore. And it's funny because there was this one time when me and Vache, I believe in the ninth grade, we were taking English class together. And the teacher told us that we could partner up with anybody for a group project. So naturally, we partnered up with each other. And I went to his house on a weekend. And I got to meet his mother and father. And his mother and father were nothing like Vache. The mother and father were deathly serious, grave, 
moribund people. So I always wondered how such joyless parents produced such a fun offspring like Vache. But then as Vache started this Armenian club and I kind of got to see him transform and go through this metamorphosis and maturation in his personality, I started to see that he was turning into his parents. I guess he succumbed to his genetics. I just could not figure out for the life of me why he would throw away our relationship, everything that we had been through. But anyway, let me know if you've ever had a friend who suddenly went tribal on you. Thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.